One day, back in 1992, Dr. Bennett Houston had an inspiration. Why not make house calls? As a child, she'd accompanied her father when he visited his elderly and disabled patients in their homes. She remembered the difference it had made in their lives. Her first office was her dining room table, and she had one employee, herself. As it turns out, her vision was timely. A wave of aging baby boomers was on the horizon. Patients began to flock to her. It soon was apparent she needed help. So she incorporated and christened the new nonprofit House Call Providers. Little by little, House Call Providers grew. Here's what the staff looked like in the late 90s. Over the years, we've added some new faces. We now have almost 90 staff and serve over 1,400 patients across the Portland metropolitan area. But our mission hadn't changed, providing quality home-centered medical care to the homebound members of our community. The truth is, when people don't receive primary medical care, their health gets worse. Many times they end up in the hospital, which is expensive and stressful. Once we get involved, things get better for our patients and their families. Better care means fewer trips to the emergency room. House calls help society too. Every day, Medicare adds 10,000 new beneficiaries. Almost 50% of Medicare's budget is spent every year treating just 5% of its population, the chronically ill. Most of our patients, the homebound and disabled, fall into that category. There were times when it seemed that house call providers might not go on. But thanks to the generosity of foundations, providers, circle members, and friends in the community, we made it through the tough times. In 2009, we added a hospice so our patients could receive a continuum of care as they aged in place. As the need increased, so did Bennett's responsibilities. Luckily, she surrounded herself with a strong team, in particular Terry Hobbs, who in 2011 became our executive director. Under Bennett's and Terry's combined leadership, house call providers thrive. Within the last few years, local and national leaders started taking notice of our work. In 2012, we were selected to be one of 17 sites involved in the Medicare demonstration project, Independence at Home, and the only one west of Texas. Participation in the demonstration project propelled us into the national discussion surrounding home-centered medicine and presented us with the opportunity to educate our community and beyond about its many benefits. The future is still being written, but it is our hope that leaders in communities across America will look to our success as inspiration for how healthcare can better serve patients, families, and the greater good. It's amazing how much power there is in an idea.